Well, look, what can I say? I mean, congratulations. Another spectacular performance, Daniel. And Thank I you have very to much. say, I mean, although you've been playing this guy for almost 10 years, it, I have to think that it's got to be really exciting for you that every time you, we, we see you, you're kind of reinventing him, in a sense. You know, a, a lot of that, I, 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 I really should not take the credit for that because a lot of that is in the books and in the scripts. You know, Harry comes back a different character yeah. um, after the breaks in, in the films. And, um, and it's just my job to kind of try and enact that as, as, as well as I can and, and as, and as um, convincingly as I, as I can. And, um, yeah, so I, 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 uh, I suppose, um, yeah, but, but thank you. Thank you very much for your compliments. Yes, and it, I do find, I, I find the fact that I get to, people sometimes think, oh, is it boring to play the same character for so long? No, it's not, because he changes so much that actually, no, it, does, it doesn't get boring in the slightest. What really challenged you in this one? Because I would think the stuff with Dumbledore would have had to have been, you know, that's it. You would have thought absolutely correctly. Um, I, it was. It, it is. It's that was the hardest stuff in the, in the film, particularly um, the end when a, a rather momentous event takes place, and um, and and after that, you know, that I have no experience of those exact emotions myself, and so to try and enact them, was, we're trying to perform them was, was was very difficult. And if I got halfway through, I'd happy, but I, you know, we'll see. Yeah, the scene in the cave. That was that was the coolest moment of my career. One of the coolest moments of my career. Uh, it was a moment that you have to step back and just go, never again, probably, doesn't matter how many films I do, but never again will I get to burst out from underwater, surrounded by a circle of fire, climb up onto this kind of crystal island, uh, a la sort of uh, the, the cave in the fortress in Superman 2, and, um, and then climb onto uh, this thing where Dumbledore or Gam Gam Michael Gambon, uh, uh, an actor of great note, is swirling fire around his head like God. It, I will never have that moment in my career again. So there are some moments you just have to go, this is, this is ace. Either you're a superhero or you reminded me of Moses in the Ten Commandments. Well, there is that moment where the fire parts and it's, it's great, isn't it? I mean, it was quite overblown, but it's rather wonderful. <laughs> it really was. Um, I, again, I was saying to uh, Emma and Rupert, uh, what I loved a lot about this too, is even though we have the dark stuff, there's no question, but there's a lot of light romantic comedy stuff happening here. It certainly is, yeah, which, of which Rupert is a, a rather wonderful exponent. Um, who knew? No, I think we all knew Rupert was always going to be a, a fantastic... I mean, Rupert, for me, th this film for me belongs to two people, Rupert Grint and Tom Felton, who are both give such wonderfully nuanced, detailed performances in this, and, and e easy, it's easy. And it's, you know, the, the ease with which they are, have on screen is, is, is um, wonderful and great to watch. Did you warn Rupert a little bit about being hoisted up there for the Quidditch scenes? You know what, I did. I was really annoyed because he said he was fine with it. He said it didn't hurt. He said it was all right, and I was really annoyed. And I thought, oh, really? Have I just been making a fuss all these years? Um, but of course, they did change the seats on the fifth film. Seats have been better since then. So I think maybe I mean it's still not the comfiest thing in the world. I I maintain, but um, old. Uh, Toffee Rupert Grint doesn't bat an eyelid. Yeah. Now I've heard, you know, especially from David Yeats, is that you know, because I said you have to keep things light on this set sometimes. But you are by far the you got the best humor. You're the funniest guy. So where does your humor come from? Did he say I was funniest? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I I, I I spend a lot of time on set with a guy called Will Stegall, who is uh, who is a man who has an incredibly dark, dry, twisted sense of humor and a dark, dry, twisted mind. And uh, I think, so I spend a lot of time with him. He's basically my best friend in the world and is like a brother to me and has watched me grow up from the first movie. And, uh, and kind of some of his humor's rubbed off on me. I watch a lot of comedy shows and I watch a lot of stand-up comedy. I, I, I just love watching. And um, so, yeah, I suppose it, it comes from there to a degree. But I'd say that is a huge compliment that David Yates thinks I'm funny. Well, I have to say, like after this Harry Potter thing is all done, you know, you could tour the, the world as a stand-up comic. What do I you think? I really couldn't, no. Because I, I have a huge amount of respect for stand-up comedians. And what they do, I think, when it's done well, is mind-blowing. Because when, like, if I, if I tell five jokes, one of them might be really, really funny, <laughs> and the other four will just make you cry, they're so bad. And, and to be honest, uh, uh, you know, if you're a stand-up going around the world, you throw out five jokes, four of them have to make people belly laugh, and I can't do that. Yeah, well so anyone, I hate people who say, oh, I could do that. No, you could no. not. No, I call them kamikazes for getting up there on stage and do it. That's it's crazy. Com kamikazes, that's yeah. very good. Yeah, I really like that, yeah. We could go on Can I together. use that, please? Of course you can, very of course much. you can. Uh, Daniel, you know, you did the Broadway thing, you've done other things. How important was that for you to get up on the stage and just and, and just help you as an actor to come back to Harry Potter? That's what it's really important because it's the thing that has allowed me to keep enjoying the Potter films, it, uh, keep enjoying making them, is the fact that I've gone off and done other stuff. You know, it, it would be, I would find it too 
I would have found I would have been too worried that people wouldn't take me seriously as an actor after Potter, or that people wouldn't or wouldn't give me an opportunity to play other things after Potter, um, that I wouldn't have been able to enjoy it. So the fact that I've been able been, um, to go off and do other stuff while still doing uh, Harry Potter is is what has made this amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, is what I has made this. I would think by now, of course, you, Rupert, and Emma. You know, you're probably finishing each other's sentences. You know, I mean, you got like you're almost like one. I would yeah. think by now, best friends and almost brothers and sisters. Yeah. But have you really started to think? Or I know you've got two more films to to finish off. But you know, that one day when you're the phone isn't going to ring to say, Daniel, you're on set in five minutes. Like, have you thought about that waking up and when there's you know you're not going to be doing the Harry Potter films? What's going to happen then? Um. I haven't really thought about that too much yet. I just want to keep working on this film and, and finish it and finish it well. Um, I shall be very sad when it's all over, um, uh, but I, I shall also be very excited to move on to other things. And I, you know, it, it will be, you know what, I will miss Potter. I will miss having the Harry Potter films to kind of punctuate chapters in my life and to always link them, you know. And I'll miss my friends that I've made on set with both cast and crew. And I'll try to work with them all again, yeah. but, but a team will be disbanded at the end of this film. Uh, and I, that will be sad. Well, I think you will have family reunions for the rest of your life. I'm sure people. we will, if not remakes. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 You're brilliant in this, and it's always lovely to talk to you. And Thank you very best much. Best of indeed. luck with it, really. Cheers. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you indeed. so much.